And just like you follow Miss True Heart, we follow behind you. And it's a, it's like a, it's a trigger, it's a good positive trigger effect. And mm-hmm. this don't be talked about through the media. Like we have to create our own. Like we had a whole little powwow meeting out here with these media people out here on Penn North, and we specifically say, come out here and talk about the good, the good stuff. stuff. Yes, mm-hmm. show the goodness um, in the community. Yes, show the goodness of our yep. city. Stop yep. coming out here perpetuating death and criminalization. Because that's because enough we see it. And then they pick and choose. They pick and choose the stories, you know, just like some of the incidents that's going on on our homeless corridor. We have so many traumatizing incidents going on right now from some of our seniors being beat up. These stories don't touch WJZ or Fox or Channel 11. We put they the show, guy in the shelter. They show no interest, and that's my concern, you know, and that's what we need to get a a different understanding on what's real media or what's the really, what should we be processing? What's just in a distraction? Because like you said, we could easily get distracted and slip into so much other stuff. So you're right, Archie. We got to focus on transparency. We got to let the truth be told, even if people don't like us or delete us off their page. Deleting. That's the same. Passes (laughs) passes. 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 Nah. We got a new breed of we got a new breed of pastors right. and ministers now. What's the pastor name that deleted wow. you? Ah, uh, it was like two of them. What's the like, name? I ain't going. I mean, and they, and they probably listeners because a lot of people listen to our show just to listen and ear hustle and just to listen. <laughs> I want you guys to support and contribute too. But at the same time, yeah, we still love you. I mean, you can tune in and listen and, and not say a word, but it's your conscience. I feel like I'm them people conscious. You know, if they felt like if I'm talking about homelessness or tagging you about what's going on, I'm telling you the truth. So the truth hurts the average individuals. I know I was talking about tithes and offering the other day mm-hmm. on my post. You know, sometimes we got to think of, you know, God's way of tithes and offering, opposite of man plan of tithes and offering. Because sometimes we think the only way we're supposed to tithe and offering is inside of a church house. I remember when and you Jesus went and fed the homeless. The That's time. tithing. Yeah, it's, it's ways that we can show our tides. We can show our talents. We can show our gifts. We can go and, and, and clean a whole church, clean the bathroom, clean the pastor's right. office. That could be offering our tides. But if we have a neglected system in our city, then we need to probably start reversing some of them tides and offering and putting them in the communities. Because it's summertime. You know, take a $20 bill and go give it to a youth and maybe take them for a ride. That could be your tie. You may can't, you know, I don't want to start no boycott about tides up here, but we just need to think. I mean, I'm serious. Like, consciously, we should be thinking, you know, we are building big mega churches in this city and we got homeless people. You know, shame on us for certain things. So if we can pump tides every week, they only going to get a bigger church, more, more, more. You know, I even I even challenge my church, Empowerment Temple. When I meet with Pastor Jamal Bryan, I'm concerned about how engaged that we are with the homeless mm-hmm. individual and how we could be a solution. So I ain't saying one thing to one pastor that I wouldn't say to the other. All of them need to hear the same thing. Jesus was not a part of a church. He walked from city to city. The man had sandals on the whole time. Mm-hmm. So... Boots That's just where I'm at. Boots on the ground. Yeah. I tied so it when lost. I took that homeless person around to the guy right, in the shelter. Got you. <laughs> I took a homeless person hey, around. Ink? That was tied. Is this Ink? Yeah, how y'all doing? How you doing, hey. brother? Uh, I'm okay. That's just my views and opinions about tithes and offering, okay? Yeah. <laughs> so what's going on, Larry? Hey, partner. What's happening? Ain't nothing. I just want to say we can uh, demand justice. We can shut this nation down tonight. Hmm. Just not eating chicken. Oh, hold on. Why are we going back some chicken? I'm serious. I mean, stop buying chicken. Hold on, brother Ink. Wait a minute now. Chicken. Stop, stop <laughs> eating that hip hop. Stop eating oh. KFC. Oh. Stop buying. Oh. We can shut this nation down. Oh, okay. All right, brother Ink. You okay? I got you. I got the scenario. I thought he was like boycotting chicken, period. Like, I'm just trying to stick to some chicken and fish sometimes. So, okay, I got you, though. But he's right. If we use the powers within us, you know, and I say this all the time, we have a lot of crowds. People know how to come together. 
sometimes we do need to take those crowds into their comfort zone and peacefully mm -hmm. let it be known that we are here. I hear the stories about the oppressors. I hear the stories about the negativity, but I'm trying to cope and function one day at a time, sweet Jesus. Sweet Jesus. And sometimes we got to learn sweet to Jesus. create something new. And this is all about creation from the grassroots creation about a solution in our city when it comes to our youth when it comes to our homeless when it comes to our seniors we need to get more involved other than you know like to call us earlier what are you going to do will hannah said it what are you going to do when you get off the radio hmm. hopefully you'll give us a call we're going to let sister queen put our information out there because we want to have people as our uh sponsors as our supporters to continue doing what we're doing don't delete us off your page but at the What's same time, Baltimore City, you know, real talk here. The only way we can get anywhere if we get the support and we get the help. So, yeah, you know, does. we could be talking marketing, advertising, your shout out. Let us do it right here. Let it come through this away. Monday, we're on Spirit 1400 from 2 to 3. Sister you know, station. again, we're trying to have that covered in prayer with our pastors and our ministers who are ready to speak to our city. So, again, Sister Queen, put your information out there. Yeah, you guys, we want you, excuse me, to join us every Wednesday and Friday on WOLB 1010. Wednesdays from 12 to 1, Fridays from 2 to 3, and on Mondays from 2 to 3, that's New Spirit 1400. This means war. We need your sponsorship. We need your support. We need you guys to call in, email us, um, again, <laughs> dk email. at hotmail.com <laughs> or www.helphomelessness www.helpbaltimorehomelessness.com dot uh, org like, I'm going to say that all up and we also <laughs> is followed you know and one of the things that you know we want to start implementing again uh, for the power nights that's starting on the 7th we're talking entrepreneurs we're talking care providers we're talking small businesses we are talking vendors if you want to bring socks, shoes anything that you want to bring on these nights for the homeless community, we will be receiving it. Yes. It's going to be, again, over at the Paradise. Nice environment, nice food, nice drink. So let's plan that for July the 7th. Our movers, our shakers, our creative minds. We're going to have entrepreneurs. We're going to have women speakers. We're going to have community city official speakers. Officials. We want to have a place where it's a one-stop shop yes. where we can get the resources, we can get the opportunity to network proactively yes. this is not somewhere where we're coming to meet and eat mm -hmm. and greet right. you know we want to leave there thursday knowing what's the plan for friday <laughs> how are we going to engage on the radio what do we need to be promoting in our community for grassroots and when it comes to our governor and our city official leaders they need to know that we are going to be about a movement in this city to make a change so they may can fear miss flowers one alone but my god say is strength in numbers and we have to get those numbers to come together to be about a positive movement and a change. We're going to sit back. We're going to pray. I want to definitely close us out. And we're going to be to say a prayer for our city. We want to be to pray for Baltimore, our youth, to know that we are working aggressively to get programs in place, to hold people accountable with to these get the funds. Killers off the yeah, to, to, to move certain issues. We're going to take our last two callers, and this is Tree Up. Hi. I just want to say one message to y'all as far as I like to boycott. I live in Northeast Baltimore. Wow. I like to boycott. Chicken. Liquor store. What she say? What she say? You too, yes. Six o'clock in the morning. Six. Yeah, I, I was talking about that last week, sister. What do we need a liquor store open at six o'clock in the morning Because people have the shakes and they need a drink. Mm. Wow. Take the liquor stores out, take the drugs out of this city, and the guns, and see what the change will be. Amen. Amen, sister. You got that's some oh, real. Say, that's some real day. talk. Thank you. She gave a real Boy, talk for the day. Finish. Hey, Woodrow. Good, good morning. Good afternoon, Mrs. Flowers. How you doing? <laughs> hey, Woody. Uh, good morning to our audience, and uh, also good afternoon to our, our guests. Awesome. Thank you. Hey, Woody. God bless everybody. Thank you, Woody. <laughs> Thank you very much for the shout-out for a happy Wednesday. You're welcome. 
Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> it's real talk, Baltimore. I am so excited. Larry, you know, we're working on Friday. Working on Friday. Working on Friday. Working on Friday. Need sponsors. sponsors. Need supporters. Support. Let's get Larry Wallace on. on the air Friday. Let's I'm go. pushing for you. You're pushing, you pushing for me. For me. God help gonna push and pull us over. Us. Put your number out there because if they need a My ride number? or a cab, yeah. come on, y'all. 443 Write it down. 443-839-8412. So if you need a cab or you know you need that ride or you know you want something out there on Friday from 3 That's to 3.30, right. let's get Larry Wallace hooked up. He's been here forever. Nine and years. you have to Ooh. help me help you help, help us. us. It is not easy Coming on every week, sometimes you got to take a break because that's how your budget rolls. Yeah. And sometimes things take priority in your budget. But, you know, God has sent us, Sister Queen, to set a structure, to get some things in order, to get some sponsors, to get some advertising, marketing. Put your information out there before we shut down so people can know this is how you can help make a difference in our homeless environment and our homeless lives and to house our homeless first. Yes, you guys. This week, the, the, the thing for the week is focus giving. Focus giving. I like <laughs> that. That's just, that's just, we ain't saying, <laughs> we ain't we're saying just about focus giving focus all this giving. week, okay? <laughs> and um, we want you to focus your giving over here at the Belvedere. <laughs> <laughs> focus giving. Really. Real Care Providers Network, you guys, where our mission is to bring awareness of homelessness and the capital resources of funds to, the, to house our homeless people. So we want you guys sponsorship. We want your support. Support. We want you to call in every Wednesday, Fridays, and Mondays just to let us know that you are listening, that you are in support with us as well. You can contact me for further details, dqueen722 at hotmail.com, or you can call me as well at 443-500-1194. And let's move Baltimore forward, you guys. Baltimore City, you know, I am always excited to come on and to be able to speak to my city. You know, I just want to take a quick second, Father God, that we're going to pray for our city right now in a whole. We're going to pray for every youth, every griever. We're going to pray for the family, a little scooter. We're going to pray yes. for peace. Yes. We're going to pray for the adults to, to put a shield around our city in these next two days when it comes to a wait in a funeral time. We're going to ask God to put on hold any harm or danger right. yes. that could come to any of us, our police officers, our citizens. We can do this together. We can bring the type of peace that's needed, God. Please help us to calm our frustration. Please help us to calm our broken hearts. Yes. Please help us to calm our anxiousness when we're just trying to do right by your will, Father God. Yes. Thank you so much for this opportunity to pray. It's in your son Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. So we're going to have peace this week. Yes. We're going to take the opportunity to, to move forward, Baltimore City. Feel free to call me. Reach out, 410 three six five 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 six seven also go to our website www.helpbaltimoreshomeless.org post it call a friend tell a friend help me help you help us yes. we are definitely the community leaders the community activists we may not have it all together but we have an open heart and we are willing to yes. partner and work with every entity i don't care who don't like who hmm. who ain't see who you know I keep telling people to mind your business. Mm. If you mind your business, you won't focus on what the other Stay people doing so lane. much. Stay in your lane. That's a good way to put mm -hmm. it. If we stay in our lane, focus on God's vision and mission for our life, we will see victory like a Ravens Day mm. football team. You know how the Ravens took over all downtown and it was just so peaceful? So we got to aim for victory, Baltimore City, because this means war. 410-365-5567. Tune in Friday, 2 to 3, for some Let It Flow Friday. If you're looking to bring them on over, we'll have a great day, boy, to my city. Tune in Friday, because this means war. This means war. This means war. There you go, folks. Real Talk Baltimore. Christine Flowers, the host. And you tenor. What up, what up? What's up, Engineer, Larry? how you doing? Bless, man. Highly favored, man. What's good with you? What's up, Larry? Celebrity cab driver always in the building. Big supporter of WRB AM radio. You heard? 